The last items we're going to talk about are the bed kits. And the importance of the bed kit is if something happens in the middle of the night when it's dark, uh, maybe an earthquake or something, and you're a caught about as uh, in the most vulnerable spot you can be, and that is in bed, undressed and everything. Um, so I have, this is my bed kit, an adult bed kit, and I have more in here than I would have, say, for my kids or even my wife. But uh, my bed kit, if I need to get up immediately, um, number one thing I want to have is good shoes. I do have socks too. I don't know that I'd ever actually get around to putting them on. I would just throw the shoes on. You don't want to be walking around the house in the dark looking for kids after an earthquake. There's going to be glass everywhere. So good shoes are a must. They're always there. So I've got shoes. Um, I do have a knife that I keep in there. Uh, glow sticks. Again, I have these everywhere. I uh, recommend them. I do have a flashlight. And uh, there are extra batteries here. But uh, I, in my bed kit, I keep batteries in my flashlight because that is a grab and go item. I do not want to mess around uh, as I'm trying to get my kids, I'm trying to put batteries in my flashlight. So I will keep the batteries in there. Just make sure you check them every year or two. Uh, like I said, socks. Um, these are the uh, respirator masks. They're the, uh, made by 3M, they call them N95s. Uh, there's two or three in each package, two packages. So anyway, there's, uh, I think, four or six of them in here. Um, in case there's debris or smoke or uh, for whatever reason. Gloves. Gloves are a must. Keep the gloves in there. Um, I have whistles in there. And then a uh, pair of pants because I don't know where my pants and shirt and all that stuff's going to be. I have a t-shirt and I have a sweatshirt. So can get dressed as quick uh, as quick as necessary. I do keep my big knife in here. It really is just a place for me to store it. If I ever needed it, it's there. I know it's there. I don't know that I'd actually be using it in an emergency, but I know where it is. Last thing I think is critically important is it called a, uh, I believe it's called a cat's paw. Basically a crowbar. Um, get through a door that's jammed after an earthquake, break a window, do whatever you need to do. This is this is your tool to get around, to get through the house. Uh, very inexpensive, Home Depot. Um, I recommend having one of those, at least for the adult kits. And then the kid kit has very little in it. It's important just to have a few things. Uh, again, the whistle. Um, I really like the kids to have one. It's uh, going to be a little harder for them to maybe scream or yell, but if they can get to this, which, which is under their bed, they can blow a whistle and you'll hear that anywhere. Um, the shoes are important. Make sure they have shoes, same reason as the adults, with socks. And then I don't give them too much more beyond that. Uh, I don't think they need it. They do have the little glow sticks. And they've got a light, but the lights I put in their bed kits, I love these lights. And they, my kids use them all the time. When uh, you know, power goes out or just at night when it's dark, they'll just grab their light. It's a little lantern to carry it around. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's real handy. Batteries always stay in there. So no matter what happens, if they need a light, they all know where one is. They all have them in their bed kit. Actually, they all have one in, a, uh, in their, uh, nice, uh, their, their dresser drawers too. So, so the kids always know where the lights are if they need it. Um, so I recommend these. These are not very inexpensive. A little container up top to put stuff in. Um, I think you can buy four or five of them for, I don't know, a few dollars each. Uh, they're, they're, really, they're a really good deal. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the, the final module that I wanted to cover with the video um, are the bed kits. Uh, I think they're very important. They're very easy to put together. As you can see, there's not much to them. It's stuff you most likely already own, except for maybe the uh, cat's paw. And that, uh, you know, that's, that's that. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, uh, shoot me an email and I'll uh, tell you where I got it or why I have it or what I do with it or answer your question best I can. So thanks a lot. And uh, we'll uh, do this again for one of the uh, future modules. Thanks.